Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to you. 5 Minute Eats and we are in the midst of hot dog week here on 5 Minute Eats. We are reviewing all beef grilled hot dogs and today we have got the ballpark brand bun size beef. This is uncured beef franks. Meat used is 100% beef. They really want you to know that. It is in an easy peel package, which does not reseal. And you get two, four, six, eight dogs here for $4.22 at Walmart. And um, I feel like this is maybe the, the second like big hot dog brand. You've yeah. got like Oscar Mayer and Ballpark. So it says bun size. Yeah. And I'm taking a look. Because in the picture, it looks like it's sticking out a little bit from the bun. That's true, but you also don't see the rear end of it. Maybe the rear end is like further into the bun. Now, here's the thing. I remember trying a ballpark, I think, during the height of the pandemic mm. in 2020. And the reason was uh, there was no options there really, you know? Mm -hmm. So I settled on ballpark. Especially because Michael Jordan does the commercials for him. Oh, I don't know. If, yeah. I don't know if he still does it, but back in the day, right? Mm -hmm. So I figured if Michael Jordan endorses this, right, it's got to be good, or maybe they paid him a lot of money. Maybe so. I do feel like this is bun length, though. Like it pretty much fits inside the bun, inside the perimeters. And with a name like Ballpark, that means that they sell it at like baseball stadiums and stuff like that, right? Yeah. So it's got to be good, or it's going to be overpriced or it's like only good if you're trashed there you go <laughs> and guys if you're new to our channel basically we review everyday grocery items so before you spend your harder money let us tell you if it's worth it let's try this out if you'd like to support this channel the easiest way to do that is using our amazon links the next time you shop there all right guys welcome back our rating system thumbs up by it again thumbs down we would not so for me this is a freaking thumbs down just like when i tried that ballpark a couple years ago, this is pretty bad. And the reason is, man, when you bite into it, it's like not very meaty, like the Oscar Mayer. And the seasonings they use for it is not that good. It's just, just very salty compared to the Oscar Mayer. Mm -hmm. And also another thing, I don't like casings that are like plastic, like you find typically in a lot of sausages. This one, the... It wasn't quite plasticky, but I did notice the casing because I don't really want to notice the casing, right? And it wasn't that bad, but I just, it was borderline plasticky, which I don't like. Mm. But the inside is a huge disappointment because not meaty, it's salty, and I just feel like they didn't really use spices to jazz it up, you know? Thumbs down. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending a super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. Okay, for me, I can't remember the last time I've had a ballpark, so I don't have like a recent experience with 2020. It. I, I, I remember for you. I honestly don't remember eating it. So for me, this one is going to be a thumbs down. I don't feel as strongly as you do about it. I would never repurchase this again, but if someone, if we're at a barbecue or something and if this is what they have, I could eat it. I wouldn't necessarily enjoy it though. It's a weird hot dog to me because I do notice the casing, but it's the inside to me that is like really kind of off-putting. It's, it reminded me a lot of a, of a Vienna sausage kind of texture on the inside. It didn't really have like a, an I'm biting into meat kind of yeah, texture. Yeah, it seems airy. Airy, exactly. That is the word I was going to use. It's almost like whipped meat, which kind of turned me off a little bit. So did not love that part. Now they do use spices, they say, which includes paprika and like celery extract or celery, celery juice powder. I feel like you can taste those things, but not necessarily in a good way. It it almost was like it was trying to compete with the Oscar Mayer one in the like smoky flavor, but they didn't quite make it there. It was like not quite right, you know? It had a very weird flavor. Again, not necessarily disgusting, but off enough that I wouldn't wanna necessarily have it again if I had a choice. 
But that airiness of the meat really turned me off. It did not feel like meat. It made me think more of a liquefied, formed meat product, which is not what I want to think of whenever I'm eating a liquefied formed meat product. To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.